I've installed Azure Storage Explorer, and when I launch it, we get this select resource option shows up. And the first thing you want to do is to connect with your subscription with Azure by clicking on subscription. After that, you can do any one of these options here. I'm going to close that, and you can see I've already went ahead and logged in. Now I'm going to click on where it says the gear here, and this shows us various different options that we can click on. We can change our proxy, the theme, the protocol, etc. I'm going to close that and take a look at my ASC blob storage, which is on my Azure container. If I'd like to, I can go ahead and upload a file or a folder directly from my local computer. I'll choose a file. And here I can choose the files to select, and I'm choosing the block blob as far as where it's being uploaded. If I change the blob type, I can choose to page or append blob. And I recommend you take a look at the different types of blobs there are and what type of storage you have in order to determine which blob type you should use. I'll click on the three dots and it'll take me to my file explorer, my local computer. I'm going to choose a script from a video I did and then click Upload. And you can see the activities at the bottom. It's showing the transfer, and then it refreshes to show my file. I can also do the same thing, but in reverse, by clicking Download, and it'll download files from the cloud into my local computer. And I can choose to create new folders, file shares, and others. Storage inside an Azure Blob container is very versatile and can be stored and shared as needed.